Hi, I'm Ruth Dutton. Hi, I'm Aaron Williams. Hi, I'm Brandon Alexander. Hi, I'm Kelvin Dutton. Hello, I'm Lyndon Sincere. We are your Spice Math tutors. You won't believe it's just me. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Spice Math. Today we are going to be looking at an introduction to solving worded problems. Oftentimes in mathematics or even other subject areas we are faced with worded problems and we tend to get intimidated or even overwhelmed. By the end of this lesson we would like to have an appreciation for reading as it plays an important role in solving worded problems. We would also like to use Paulia's four basic principles as a guide to solving worded problems. Okay, so let's begin. I have a surprise for you and I can assure you it's not what you're expecting, but have an open mind, okay? It is Mother's Day and you decide that you would like to surprise your mom with a special treat. You know how much she loves cheesecake, so you choose to make her a rich cheesecake. Immediately, you go to the internet to find the perfect recipe. If you are looking at your screen, you would see a delicious cheesecake. Now I'm going to go to the recipe on the internet. Here we are at sugarspunrun.com and as you can see, it says the best cheesecake recipe. I'm going to jump straight to the recipe to see what is required for making this delicious cheesecake. So this is the recipe I found on the internet and it's for the best cheesecake. The ingredients for this cheesecake are as follows. For the graham cracker crust, you would need one and a half cups graham cracker crumbs, two tablespoons sugar, and seven tablespoons of butter. For the cheesecake itself, you would need 32 ounces of cream cheese, one cup of sugar, two third cups sour cream, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract, one eighth teaspoon of salt, and finally, four large eggs. After reading through the ingredients and instructions for the cheesecake, you realize that it's a bit more than what you bargained for. However, you are determined to surprise your mother with something that you know will definitely make her day special. During your preparation, you see that you do not have the amount of eggs that the recipe requires, and this brings your process to a halt. So as you can see, we have a problem. We do not have enough eggs to make this cheesecake. So what I'm going to do at this moment is to introduce a four-step model that you can use to solve any problem. It doesn't even have to be for this recipe or this situation, but it can be for any problem that you encounter. Paulia's four basic principles of problem solving. One, we must first understand the problem. We have to understand the problem. Two, we then have to devise a plan. Devise a plan. Three, we would have to carry out the plan. Carry out the plan. And four, look back. 
Please read this over with me. One, understand the problem. Two, devise a plan. Three, carry out the plan. And four, look back. Let us go through these four principles together. First, we must understand the problem. In order to do so, we need to read within the context or language of the scenario. I'll read that again. We need to read within the context or language of the scenario. We also need to read and highlight keywords and phrases. Read and highlight keywords and phrases. We then need to familiarize ourselves with the language of the scenario. Again, familiarize ourselves with the language of the scenario. We need to read the scenario with the intention of finding the problem. We need to read the scenario with the intention of finding the problem. And finally, we need to identify the problem and write it down. So at this moment, I would like you to reread the recipe and the scenario that was given to you. Familiarize yourself with the language of both the recipe and the scenario. Did you identify the problem and write it down? Which is, we do not have the right amount of eggs. We are going to move on to devise a plan. In devising a plan, we need to ensure that we take a logical approach. In order to do so, we need to, and I would like you to read this with me. So in order to do so, we need to, list our options or choices, go through these options one at a time, choose the best option, draw diagrams if applicable, and finally, ask questions. At this time, I would like you to list your options or choices in relation to the problem that we do not have enough eggs to make this cheesecake. Here is my list of options. One, we can go to the supermarket. Two, we can ask our neighbor to lend us some eggs. Three, we can try to make the cheesecake without the eggs. And four, 
we can look for a substitute for the eggs. So let's talk about my options. I have the supermarket, but do I really want to go to the supermarket just to get eggs? I also have my neighbors. It might just be easy to call my neighbor and ask, well, I would like to do something special for my mom, so can you lend me some eggs? That could be an option. My third option is to make the cheesecake without eggs, but let's say it's my first time and I'm not accustomed to making cheesecake. So how would it come out without using any eggs? Finally, my fourth option is to look on the internet to find a substitute for eggs. So I have four options. Now, I would like you to go through your options and choose the best one that is suitable for you. Now that you chose your best option, it's time to carry out the plan, or in other words, solve. This is the easiest part. All that is required is for you to follow the plan and execute it. So here are the first few steps to making this cheesecake. Now, I'm not gonna go through all of the instructions, but what I can tell you is, you can simply go back to sugarspunrun.com for the rest of the instructions. Have fun. Now we're at the final step of Paulia's four step model. And that is look back or in other words, check and interpret. Ask yourself these questions. One, does it look right? Two, does it look like what you had in mind? Mmm, something smells good. Now we're at the final step in Paulia's four basic principles to problem solving. Look back, check and interpret. Ask yourself these questions. One, does it look right? Remember, the problem that we were faced with is that we didn't have enough eggs to bake this cheesecake. And the two, does it look like what you had in mind? In this lesson, you learned about Paulia's four basic principles of problem solving. Stay tuned for our next episode because we are going to be using this same model to tackle other mathematical problems. Just me.